morning. Had a pair of dead lambs this morning. One is just, it, I mean, they're both licked off. The one, it's just laying here. The other one, I don't know that I would even found had Ned not showed me. It was under the bunks in the hay. If I was guessing, it was a first time mom that had no clue what she was doing and popped them out, walked away. I have a love-hate relationship with first time use. Now I need to go figure out which one of these ewes had these lambs. Nothing out here that I see, which is good. Nobody out here should be lambing for at least two weeks, in theory. Watch them prove me wrong. Let's talk numbers. So I bred 100 ewes in October, September, October. And we brought in 163. I have 110 in the barn that are ready to lamb. I have 53 out here in this pen that will lamb and I have 25 that didn't get bred. It's gonna really mess up my May group. So we have decided that the Rams are basically getting locked down like Fort Knox when it comes to breeding season. I can't afford to have these breakouts. And so they'll live basically where they're at now in that pen by the barn. They're going to live there essentially from September until summer. And then they'll go back out on pasture. Because I, this just messes with my routine too much. Okay, I got a couple things to do today. I need to wire up some of those buckets for feeders and haul some straw and haul some hay. And it is pretty darn cold right now. It's about 8.30. There was nothing down here at 6.30. Um, and I didn't even spot those two lambs. So uh, either they were already dead and I just didn't see them. It was dark. So, you know, there's always that taken into consideration. Or I just plan missed them. But uh, yeah, they weren't frozen. Um, not like when we had that December group. So, I don't know. Hazards of lambing, I'm afraid. Hopefully from here on out, it will get better. <coughs> These guys are <coughs> down to less than a week. And breeding will be over for them. So we will, hi, we'll see uh, if this was a waste of time or if something got bred. And I can't remember if there are 54 or 64 in this group. So when we run them next weekend to, uh, I think we're going to switch out their tags. I don't know that we've actually decided, but I will get a actual head count next weekend. But I think everybody in here got covered. Whether they actually took or not is a whole different story. It was a little disappointing of the four buckets I thought I could put in only one of them had the holes drilled and I don't know where my husband put the drill 
to be able to put in more holes. And then put, I need two buckets here and I need one more down there. So those three would have uh, finished this. So he has a meeting tonight and Dudley, leave monkey alone. He's like obsessed with the cat now and she wants nothing to do with him. But nobody else is lambing. Nobody else wants to give up their babies. Hmm. Monkey, you don't need to tease him either. Declo, not your cat. I knew I forgot to do something this morning. I was supposed to shut the gate at the end of the alley so these guys couldn't come in here. Now I gotta go push them out and shut the gate at the end of the alley. June? Hey, focus. Here? Good girl. Okay, push, push, push. Come on. Yeah, I was supposed to close this gate this morning and I forgot, but it's done. No harm done. I actually didn't have any hay in there other than what's in the feeders. So they didn't get into any big bales or anything. Got my buckets opened. We'll let the oil drain out of them. There's usually just like in a little bit on the bottom. So we'll let that drain out of them and then We'll wash them before we put them in with the sheep, but it doesn't look like I'm gonna need a jug today. So we're just gonna keep, probably go haul some hay na next. You guys see her? That's the you that lamb this morning. And I'm kind of baffled because she's not a first timer. Um, which makes me think they were both stillborn when she had them. Are you just laying down? Eh, maybe. Kind of been watching her all day. So that concerns me quite a bit. Hey, Bambi. Hmm? What you doing, sis? <laughs> he really is kind of just a big lummox. But I'm going to admit, I am pretty happy with him. I, uh, I don't know that I'd trust him with lambs yet. And he won't stay out at night when we're not here. But maybe it's just boy dogs. I don't know. They seem to be a lot more... They seem to be a lot calmer than the girls. We've had more issues with 
girl guardians than we've ever had with boy guardians. How's my boy see? Are you going to give me some girls this year? Your daughter's going to have babies this year. You only gave me boys last year. Girls this year would be really, really nice. Can I, is it too late to put my order in? I think she's due either the 14th or the 16th. I can't remember now. <laughs> All right, so maybe someone can help. I've got sheep, a bunch of my sheep, with these weird patches. And some of them aren't really all that bad. You know, she's just got a couple here and, you know, the neck I'm sure is just from feeders. You know, she's got some patchy on her. And you have some like her. You know, she's got a patch here. She's got a bunch on her back. So I'm just, I don't know if they're ruining weird or do they have lice? We've never treated them for lice. It's never been an issue. So I'm, my gut's telling me that's what it is. I am I'm thinking I'm going to have to find Hi. Thinking I'm going to have to find a lice treatment. But I can't do that till I get them sheared. And I can't shear them. Well, first till the weather warms up a little bit and second Till I can find somebody that will actually show up and do them. Hi, sweet girl. I wasn't sure this was a very good Valentine's Day <laughs> until I told him about the vacuum. So you told him about the vacuum, yeah. I've been happy with chocolate covered strawberries. Oh, well, he died. You would have been? Of course. Well, he bought some for his wife. Uh huh. And they were $64. Holy crap! So, I Never mind. I figured if I was buying something for 64 bucks, I'd buy chicken. One, two, three, four. There was five, a dozen six, to start with. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Okay, and what kind of chicken? Chicken. Layers, meats? Oh, layers. Layers, okay. Chicken. Little chicken. Little chickens. 
And what happened to the we aren't getting any chickens? Well, but you said you wanted some. Well, I know, but I figured we'd get them like in April. And then in May, when they're ready to go outside, we'd have the chicken coop ready. Oh, but see, this way they'll be bigger by then. Okay, well, they can't live in here for very long. Why not? They'll outgrow it. Oh, yeah. So then all I have to do is buy my new birds. Mm -hmm. Yay! Okay. Got the one girl there that's not eaten. But everybody else. Yeah. Yeah, she was drinking water. There's another one down there not eating. So, uh, I kind of forgot that, um, she's supposed to have a baby in her. She's my one that fell in the pond. You already have a baby. And then my old girl, which is, where is she at? She's supposed to have a baby. So I need to get them both out of here. Where's she at? I hear you, Hopscotch. You're fine. Oh, right there. So, um, yeah, I need to get the two of them out of here and in with the rest of the flock. I forgot. That makes me sad. That's Donnelly. She's the one that had the babies this morning, and she's standing right where she had the one and like she's looking for it. <sighs> hate it when they lose lambs, especially the good moms. Girls, you're testing me tonight. Let's go back in. I don't even know how to get you back in without losing everybody else. They just snap the twine right off of here and shove that open. Come on, Ruby. And the issue is with this many pushing on this panel eating, I'll never get it pushed back. So. Let's see what we can do. Got that one tied up. I did manage to shove uh, as best I could. It's not perfect, but it's tied. So um, these two won't be quite as easy as Ruby was to get in because they're not quite as friendly. But let's go ahead and get them put back in. Come on, girls. Nope. Come on, tilapia, keep moving. Come here, girls. Come here. Come on. Good girls. Oh, smart sheep. I love smart sheep. You, I'm keeping my eye on you. Although you are still chewing your cud, so. Guess we'll still wait and see.